What's up, guys? So, um... Okay, so... Where do I begin today? There... I'm gonna start with this one. Um... I'm gonna just kinda start with something here to begin because... I really don't know which story I want to talk about the most yet. But we'll just go with this one. Uh, let me get on Twitter because that's where I pretty much derive some stuff. Um, a few things, actually. One more, actually, than I was going to talk about until I saw that one. Um, okay, here it is. Florida mom sues school for not enforcing state-mandated anti-bullying protocol. I saw that, uh, I, re I read that earlier today, <coughs> and it just, it, it really made me, uh, made me laugh because it was, I'm glad that somebody is taking a stand against bullying in this country, at least somebody finally is getting off their ass and saying, oh, hey, let's, we should, you know, you know, Somebody's been somebody's been bullying my uh, somebody's been bullying my daughter. You know, I sh you know there needs to be some something some action taken, and there should have been. There apparently in the state of Florida there is a state mandated um, a state mandated law uh, that schools have to uh, they have to take a disciplinary action against students that are caught, you know, bullying, you know, other students, and apparently this one girl was, uh, she was bullied and attempted suicide, and her mother is now suing the school, you know, see, that's exactly the type, some of the stuff that I would, that I, more of the stuff I would love to see in the, re in this revolution but we're just not seeing enough of it I mean I mean if one person does it you know then that's not really doing anything you need I mean if it, one person's not gonna make a change a hundred thousand that's better if you get like a million two million people that are out there protesting you know against bullying and anti-bullying legislation that's better you know we need to get this message going across the you know the country across the globe frankly you know and get you know have nations and you know states nations you know the whole world enact anti-bullying legislation it will make for a far better world and help protect protect the, our kids in the future now, frankly, I think also it's a fault of the parents. I mean, we need to friggin' teach our kids to fight and defend themselves as well. But, you know, an anti-bullying legislation will n no doubt help. So, um, man won't wear sticker on his body with the number 666 to commemorate 660 days without an accident. Um, for fear of being doomed to eternal damnation. Yeah, this guy, uh, he was a guy from Georgia who, um, he was, he was a guy from Georgia who's a, one of those, you know, staunch nutcase Christians that believes in the Bible. One of those pretty much evangelical, I can all, I can only say. Probably supports the Tea Party, too. Uh, he worked at a factory last year, and they had gone 666 days without an accident. That's great. And he, they give him a sticker uh, to commemorate it, to celebrate. You know, it's a good day. You know, but because it says 666, and because he's a religious Bible thumping nutcase. He says, no, I'm not going to wear that. That's the sign of the devil. I will never wear that it is because it is a mark of the devil. It is the mark of the beast. It's, you know, you know, and he says one of these days he's going to be, you know. <laughs> and, 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 okay, T 
to be fair, he was fired because, you know, it went against his religion. That much I can say. That I mean, obviously that was wrong on the factory's part. They should have let him keep his job. But I think the guy is putting up a bit, to, is just taking it, you know, the fact that he wouldn't accept a, a friggin' sticker because because he believes it's the mark of the devil. I mean, come on, man. I mean, seriously, a sticker is not going to frickin' hurt you. It's not going to mark you to hell. Seriously, take take that Bible for for a second. Grab a lighter. <laughs> oh, God, that's going to piss off a lot of people, isn't it? I don't care. Who gives a shit? All I'm saying is that both people took it too far. You know, the guy is bitching over a friggin' sticker, and the people that fired him are technically infringing upon his rights. So, it, to be fair, in this uh, in this video, let's just say both people are real douchebags. Okay, both people are stupid. Okay, because I mean, honestly, the guy that the pers the factory that fired him they're they're a bunch they're a bunch of they're a bunch of douchebags because they're infringing upon his first amendment rights to freedom of religion his and the the guy that got fired he's just an he's one of those freaking you know fascist evangelicals you know uh, you know I, i'm sorry I, I'm sorry if you're religious like him, if you're that religious, but that's my personal stance, okay? I, I'm, I'm agnostic, so I don't really, I mean, I believe in a God, and I believe in a heaven and a hell, but I don't believe in, you have to be staunch, Bible-thumping believer, you know, in order to get to heaven. My belief is that God loves, if God loves all his children uh, equally, then all you got to do is live a good a good life love yourself love life you know you know don't commit any crimes try not to do drugs you know stuff like that and you will get into heaven you know if god loves all his children and forgives i'm just saying and that's why it always gets me. He's probably one of those guys that also thinks that that if you're gay, that you're going to go to hell. And there's another thing that I want to bring, just say real quick. Again, if God loves all his children and forgives, not that gay people have anything to forgive, because that was that's what they're born with. Most people, you know, that's how it is. If you're gay and God loves all his children they will get into heaven. I'm just saying. And one last thing. Uh, we apparently have seen uh, the president of Yemen has resigned. And that is a big um, accomplishment for the Arab Spring, especially for the, uh, for the people of Yemen. <coughs> because... Um, because they've been calling for his resignation for what four months or something four or five months and he finally has stepped down and that's great because you know that that just at least now they'll be um, at least now they'll have a new guy come in now we don't know what this guy is going to be like so we so we're just kind of holding our breath right now but hopefully it will bring change the fact that the president has stepped down is is a good is it's great so let's just let's just hope for let's just hope for the best um and that's it so I'm NorCal Nick president of NorCal leader of the revolutionist movement and this has been NorCal Corner. And this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.